626 Big Ticket One, 826 <laughs> Big Ticket One, it's OB 103, AATL's number one for hip hop, RB, and throwbacks. Queen Shamia Morton. Hey, best friend. And our best friend is in yep. the building. Shout out mm-hmm. to the Tay Martians. Tay Martins here. Good morning, Tay Mar. Good morning. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? How are you, sis? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You good? Uh, let's see. Where do I start with you? First of all. Yeah, where do you start? I mean, oh, my goodness. Let's start with so the Falcons many layers game, singing Mar. the national anthem. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, the, yeah, it was really you. <laughs> I have to say the best part to me was her son recording her singing and his reactions. So sweet. Mm. It's giving mother son goes. Like, oh, it is yeah. the cutest. Y'all are so adorable. How old is he now? He's 10. Wow. 10 years old. When, 10 how old was he when he sang uh, the anthem at the Hawks game? He was nine. Oh, okay. So the national anthem means a lot to him because, you know, that he feels like that's his... Um, um, debut of him coming out as a singer. <laughs> <laughs> really? Because yeah, he sang at the Hawks game with his school and then he did the Braves game so he really feels like sure a superstar. He sure did. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good for him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you've been headline worthy for the last week or two, ma'am, doing your yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, we'll start with uh, you being heartbroken over Jeannie and Jeezy's oh, breakup. Oh, man. Don't that hurt y'all feelings? Yeah, it it's does. pretty sad. Yeah. Lots yeah. of people don't feel that way, though. I, I don't understand why they don't. Like, how, how are you basking in somebody else's pain? Like, what do you mean? Yeah, it's kind of fortunate. I mean, uh, have you spoken to her? I haven't spoken to Jeannie, but I've spoken to um, Adrian and Tamara. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, everybody's sad about it. <laughs> just sad about it sad about it yeah cause you know like you want the best for people you know what I mean and I feel like this was like a person that Jeannie actually <laughs> really kind of wanted to be with yeah definitely not, not, she, her and her the daughter just piece. posted a prayer <laughs> congratulating him on on his you know mm. New York yeah. Times bestseller list and kind of looking back at that oh I hope I don't get in trouble but kind of looking back at that prayer as a woman and you know, breaking up with somebody, ah, yeah, don't nobody yeah. know. It looked um, like it was just. I'm praying for my marriage. Yeah, oh, I want to wow. keep. I want it. I want to. Mm. My family and oh. Yeah, that's a sad story. I'm yeah, sorry. Tig over there being petty, though. You've been messy. Because you done brought up petty. the fact that the lady said the dark meat on the side. Uh, and she the, said the, it to her. She did say it. She did say it. But I think that, you know, first of all, you that, think she meant it, meant that, it that was way? her as her younger self. Oh, okay. you know, we say things sometimes and we don't really know the effect of it all. And sometimes things just don't age well. There has been taste or things that you said, you said, I said, yeah. I'm not aged well. Mm-hmm. But I really do feel like, you know, they had, you know, something something there. They had to love for each other. Amen. Well, I wish yeah. them I wish them both well. Me too. I, for I, sure. I love them both individually. But I hope I don't marry nobody who filed for divorce so on me. I don't know if I'm going to be able to recover from that one. Because <laughs> <laughs> that means I Wait, don't want Wait, so you, you have to file first? Yes. <laughs> you know it. Because a man filed, and I was saying, when a man files for divorce, there's no hope for reconciliation. Like, they're done. Yeah, they're, 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 do, they're right? done. Right? Am I right? Do you think if you file for yeah. divorce, it's like it's over with and it's been over and it's, it's never, ever going to happen again? But before we even went down, it was over. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my heart will be broken. It been over. You're right. I don't want. I don't want that either. I don't want that. But we're getting your personal business in a minute. Oh uh, Lord, I ain't got none. Yes, <laughs> yes we're gonna find out. <laughs> Uh, yes, you do. T- tell me about this Love and War 10th, uh, 10th oh, anniversary tour. Yes, I'm so excited. Um, it's been 10 years um, since I put out Love and War. Mm-hmm. And uh, because it was such an R&B staple, um, I just felt like I just wanted to pay you know, homage to that time in my life. And I remember the struggle as an artist and people trying to um, keep me in a box of being in a, in a reality you know, business and being a reality star and trying to find a storyline or whatever that was. And it really wasn't. It was, it was really who I was. I was a singer mm. first. <laughs> yes, you know, you and, and it meant a lot to me. And so um, I put up this tour and we have a second date for Atlanta because the first one sold out in three days, which is... Amen. Amazing. Right. Um, the whole tour, the whole album, or the his, this whole era is completely funded by me. Right. I don't have a manager. I don't have an agent. This wow. is all me. And so this is why, you know, I decided to give back to those artists who don't necessarily have that platform and, and who deserves to have that platform. Yes. Like I have Drew Sador open right. up, opening up for me here in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, Drew. Yeah, I have Nivea opening up for me. Yes, and, you're showing oh, love to the ladies for real. Sure. And Dallas, she's in Dallas. Okay. Tierra Marie. It's opening oh, wow. up city okay. in Detroit. 
and oh, oh and Candace is opening up for me in our hometown. Um, Sherm, I'm not Sherman Oaks. <laughs> Candace. I was like, what? what? Candace from Housewives. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Potomac. Uh, yeah. Potomac and Silver Spring. I was like, so, did yeah. you say Sherman Oaks? Oh, Candace is <laughs> a great singer. That's Candy Ghost County is so behalf. upset at you right now. <laughs> That's all right. They know I came home. I came home a lot. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. So are we getting all the classics on, on this? On oh, this, man. I mean, um, not just the classics from um, Love and War, but um, the records that you haven't heard me sing live from all three albums okay. that people have been like harassing me. <laughs> so I got a favorite song What's that favorite song? I, I really love by you. I mean, it just brings me to tears. Kingdom Come. Try that's me. A, oh Lord Jesus, that was a long ba- time. Ago. I, I, that's how long I've been a fan. I ain't singing that though. Oh gosh, <laughs> just sing it to I, me I on the side. Sing it to me on the side. Oh mm. gosh, y'all. One she Nation no. crew <laughs> and, and Tamar, Kurt Franklin wrote that. So it was so yeah, beautiful. You yeah. sang that song. Yeah. People see people don't know about that. Well, She's been doing this for a long well, time now. Hilarious. Well, listen, Tamar's our guest this morning. We can come back. Yeah. As I said, I got we got more questions. Uh, I yeah. got answers to something. <laughs> you got answers to it all. I was actually at the listening party for your um, Love and War. You know that, right? I remember you told me I that. I sure was. You told me that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can't believe it's been 10 years. Amen. You know, those songs still feel fresh. They feel and, good. And I remember the memories of all of them. Oh, you know? Amen. Love yeah. and War, 10 year anniversary tour in full effect. Tamar is in the building with the Big Ticket Morning Show, and we'll be right back right after this on V103. Teacher <laughs> Station, V103 to ATS. <laughs> <laughs> one beer, pop, R&B, and throw bags. Queen, mm. shimmy, and all Hey, time. best friends. Queen, Tamar Braxton. Good morning. What's up, Mama? How are you? <laughs> Good. I'm happy you made it here today. Uh, I immediately text Tamar after seeing your post the other day. Yeah. Uh, and I felt slightly guilty because I was like, I, I was instrumental in making sure that you sang the national anthem. And while you were singing the national anthem, something was happening to you. Yep. Um, so your car was broken into. Yeah. In in the garage. In the garage. Uh, but first of all, let me say um, we're sorry. We were all sorry to see that that happened to you. But as I read your post and your caption, I it, certain things in your caption. Yeah. Was set like- off alarms for me as your friend. Yeah. Uh, you said, "I'm not safe anywhere. I don't know why I keep getting violated." Because I'm not safe anywhere or with anyone. I'm not. How? And I feel that way. I'm about to get choked up. I feel that way. Um, well, I originally moved to Atlanta because my house got robbed in L.A. while I was here shooting Kingdom Business. Mm. And I don't think that I've ever heard of anyone who, um, okay, so then you move, you relocate, and you try to start a new life. And then your car gets vandalized and you get violated all over again. And I just feel like, so is, is it me? <laughs> like, no, no, I mean, no. And no, and I just felt like no matter yeah. where I go, I'm not safe. <laughs> I'm supposed to be safe here. I'm not safe here. I don't. And then it makes me look at everybody that's around me. Who am I safe with? Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying this. One of my friends or somebody that is close to me set me up. I don't feel like that, but it looked like, it's four people. And they that, look comfortable, sis. Yeah, and that big old sloppy one, like, just look. Just, <laughs> and I'm not trying to say nothing bad about nobody. I'm just saying he just looked big. He, the drawers was hanging off. Mm. And, like, they just looked like that they, they knew nobody was going to catch him. They, 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 they wasn't They wasn't just, they wasn't thinking about no time. They wasn't thinking about nothing. They just was, it just made me feel bad. It just made me feel like, why do I keep getting violated? And then it went all the way back. Now, I've been in therapy since then. Then it went all the way back to my childhood when, you know, I got violated as a child. And, like, why do I keep getting violated? Like, what is this about? Who do I feel safe with? You So when I, not knowing that angle of it, when I, when I read the caption, I felt like, especially with your family, as, yeah. as invested we are with your family, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, as publicly as your family has lived, that you should at least feel safe around your family. I don't feel safe around a D1. Not at wow. this moment. Can you even think of a moment where you felt the safest in your life or, you know, who you felt safest around? Or was it I a place, like, a person? I feel like there's times when I feel safe. But do I feel safe all the time? No. Like, I'm driving a hoopty right now because I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. 
It's not a hoopty. It's just not a tame market. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, wait a minute now. It's not. A, it's just, you know what I mean. Hey, you going to make you. it to point A to point B. I, I just don't. I don't know. Like, I don't want to go nowhere. I don't want to do too much. I just. Well, what what's your significant other saying about that? Because, I mean, obviously, when you're in a relationship, your man feels like they got to protect you. Does he feel like he let you down in that respect? He like, does. He does. So a lot of people read into that, of course. You know, the cyber sleuths that they are. The cyber psychics. Um, <laughs> yeah. and, and, you know, that if you say you don't feel safe around anyone and you're famously with, allegedly with someone... Well, he wasn't there for sure. Right. Um, I don't know. It's not really nothing else to read into. You know, at, in that moment, I was furious and furious with everybody. Mm. Um, it was a lot of displaced anger. You know, um, I don't know. It's I don't know if anybody like in this room has ever been like violated to that point. Like, and then you can watch the tape back. Yeah, not to the point where you can watch the tape back. <laughs> and then you oh, see I how, have a problem. Mm-hmm. And see how they went in the way that they went in. Like, it was a lot. But, you know, for the most part, you know, JR is a, is a great guy. You know what I mean? I feel like if he was there, you know, they probably would have walked over and limped back. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I feel you walk like over. But you're going to limp back. I love it. You I know? love it. Um, but, you know, yeah, I just. I'm sorry. I don't. I can't sugarcoat nothing. I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe in Atlanta. I don't feel safe walking in my car. I don't feel safe going to the grocery store. What do you think it'll safe. take to make you feel safe? I don't, I don't know. I've definitely gone back into extensive therapy because I feel like there's some, you know, stones that really definitely need to be um, overturned and mm-hmm. worked on. How, how do um, you, I don't know. How do you, if I'm about to do this tour, you're going to be in front of and yes. around yeah. tons of strangers. Yeah, I mean, I can go to work. Um, and you know what the truth is? The stage is my safe place. Mm. Wow. You know, like when I go to Dish Nation, I feel safe there. I don't feel like anything is going to mm-hmm. happen. You know what I mean? Right. Um, I, of course, I have security like on the road. But normally I don't want to have security. Like, why? Like, you know, I'm, I'm approachable. I'm fun. I'm cool. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, there will be a lot. So it ain't going to be no extras. <laughs> 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 Not this time, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> Take my Braxton's I guess this morning a big ticket morning show. Uh, let's play your new song and, 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 and continue our conversation. Change people be changing. Mm. Do you feel changed? <laughs> people be changed. What is the most changed thing about Tamar Braxton? Um, that I'm, I, I have a lot of self awareness and the self accountability, and um, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with saying I'm sorry first. I'm cool. With oh, being that's a change. Yeah, I'm I'm cool with being the one to be like, you know what, I, I did that and it's my bad and I'm sorry. Can we move on? Yeah. His change. Tamar Braxton will be one of the <laughs>